Hi Crystal Comets, it's Mrs. Hernandez here and I am here to present my artist of the day, Mr. Chris, you all know him. And today he has developed a lesson to teach you how to create a beloved character that I know you guys are all gonna enjoy. Um, I hope you have fun with this and make sure to post them on social media or email them to the website that you see. Mr. Chris. So you guys know my rules of drawing. Um, whoever has drawn with me before, don't draw too dark, don't erase, don't look at the person's page next to yours to see if theirs is better or not because there is nobody next to you, <laughs> except your parents. And you guys should draw along with your kids, by the way. It'd be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to draw with today, I'm going to use just a basic Dixon Ticonderoga, the weapon of choice that we have here. Um, I have all these cool drawing pencils that I use normally, but I'm not going to because I want you guys to use whatever you have in your house. So remember to relax, have fun. You can rewatch the video over and over again. If you have any questions, just stop and go back or message Mrs. Hernandez or myself and we'll gladly help you guys out. And please post your pictures. I want to see them. Okay. Have fun. All right, guys. So we're going to be drawing the infamous Square Bob Sponge Pants. Did I say that right? Oh, okay. So anyways, um, we're gonna draw SpongeBob today. Now, some of you have drawn SpongeBob with me, but this is a different version of SpongeBob. There's many different versions. So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna start with the basic shape first of SpongeBob. I want you guys to draw light. I'm gonna draw pretty dark, just to be safe, so that you can see it. And I'm gonna make sure there's space here and right here at the bottom. I don't want him running off the page. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with a basic, square. Now I'm going to curve it slightly, just like that. And instead of drawing a regular square like this, I'm going to actually taper it in a little bit, like so. Not too much. Just like that. Straight across. Now I want to split this up. I want to go up about, or go down, about three quarters of the way down. And I want to make this line go straight across this way. Now the next thing that I want to do is, I want this to be a symmetrical drawing. So I'm actually going to split it right down the center, very lightly, because I want to mirror the other side. Okay? And the next thing I'm going to do is, I want to place his eyes. So I'm going to go down just a little bit, about right here. I want his eyes in this little region right here. And I want to leave space on the bottom for his mouth. But the next thing I'm going to do is, this curved line right here, I'm going to make another line that goes parallel to this, right across this way, and right across this way. I want to keep his eyes in this region. The next thing I'll probably do, is I'm going to make a line right there, and a line right here, because I don't want his eyes going too far out. I want to trap them in this little area right here. <clears throat> now, I've, I've taught you guys how to draw circles before. Try not to use your wrist. Your wrist doesn't go in a perfect circle, but your arm does. If you naturally rotate your arm this way, it goes in that direction. So I'm going to make a circle here. And another circle right here. We have something just like this. They're a little bit off, but it's okay. We're going to get there in a second. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another set of lines that go across here. Just like this, and I'm going to put his second set of eyes, the inners of his eyes, right here and right here, just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make his pupils, and they're going to go right here and right here. I'm going to shade those in so you can see them. You don't have to do it. Make sure everything's lined up where you want it. And the next thing I'm going to do with his eyes is I'm going to make his eyelashes. One, two, three. Whatever you do on this side, try to do it on the other. One, two, three. Notice the two lashes here on the outsides are shorter than the middle. So always make the one in the middle a little bit bigger. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make his nose. It's going to go here to here to there. Just broke my pencil. Just like that. And I'm gonna make his cheeks. He's smiling in this, which you should be smiling to right now. It's like a U shape. It's gonna go right there, 
And whatever you do on this side, you're going to do on this side. Just like that. Make his eyes a little bit wider. Okay. Now, whenever I draw, I have a starting point, a midpoint, and a stopping point. That way I know where I'm going. My midpoint's going to be somewhere right here. Okay, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to go from here to here to there. Know where you're going. Draw ahead of time in your mind. And I'm going to go here to there to there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make his buck teeth that he has. He's got these big giant teeth in the front. <clears throat> Not too big. There's one. Now whatever you do, draw this one exactly the same on this side. Make sure this space right here matches up. This is our negative space. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to make sure that bottom lines up right there. Generally I want them the same size. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do below his mouth is there's this squashed W that goes like this. Just like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw his tie. I'm going to move on to the rest of this stuff in just a minute, but I'm going to draw his tie. But what I want to do first is I want to split this up here. This little box that we have right here, this rectangle, we need to split it right in half. And here we go. And I'm going to draw this light right here because his tie is going to go in right here, but I want this separated. Okay. I'm going to draw a circle now here. This is going to represent his tie. And after that circle, you notice that it's split perfect right down the middle right there. I'm going to draw this check mark for his collar. It's like a V almost. And then I'm going to draw this diamond shape for his tie that goes like this. And like that. <clears throat> Everybody following me so far? Yes? All right, better. Now I can finish this line off right here. Now he has these four rectangles that are down here that represent like his belt loop and his pants. So I'm gonna start right here and go one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna shade these in. Oh, here's your drawing tip. If you want to sharpen your pencil, shade sideways, and you'll keep your point sharp. The way I was shading, you can actually dull your pencil real quick, but it's okay. I'm not drawing a long time. But if I were drawing a long time and I didn't want to keep sharpening my pencil, I would just do this, and I would naturally sharpen my pencil. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to draw are his legs. <clears throat> So I still have this split right down the middle, just like this. I'm going to draw his pant leg that goes from here to here to here. Now I want to duplicate this onto this side, so I'm going to use this line that I drew down the center to help me, and I'm going to use negative space right here. I want this negative space to match over here on this side, and I also want this to line up and fall onto the same plane. And this is negative space that I can use right here as well. So I want to come over here and do the same thing. Something like that. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line down here. Because I don't want his legs to go way down. <clears throat> I just want them to go down to a certain point. And I want to draw another line because I want his legs to be a certain length and I want to leave room for his shoes. Okay. So the next step is let's draw his legs in. His legs are going to come down to about here. Don't draw them too thick. Whatever you do on this side, you go do on this side. Okay. Before you draw anything else in, let's draw his feet, his shoes. It's a curve here, curve right here, heel, curve down. This is your shape you should have. Now watch this. I'm going to go from this part of his body here and I'm going to draw a line that goes straight down because I don't want his foot to go past that area. Now look what I created, a constraint. I'm going to go like this, just like that. <clears throat> now let's move over. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw a line that goes down here. Look at the negative space over here. 
So I'm gonna draw a mark that goes like this, like this. Let's draw his heel, this. I'm not gonna go past here because I made this mark already. Just like that. Now let's shade it in. And the last step for his legs, watch this, his sock lines. There's one, and then don't lift your pencil up, bring it across very carefully, draw the next one. Here's two, drag it across. There's that. <clears throat> and that's done. Now let's move up to his arms. His arms are a little tough. Not really, I'm gonna teach you how to do it easy. Watch this, I'm gonna go from his tooth and I'm gonna bring my pencil across and make a little mark. That's where his shoulder's gonna start. And his shoulder's going to end a little bit below right here. Okay, now that I have these two points, all I have to do is say, go from here to there. Whatever you do on this side, do on the other side. Okay, so we use this as a reference. Go straight across, go straight across. There's his arm. His arm should come out a little bit more, but it's all right. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a mark that goes from the bottom of his shorts here. And that's where his arms are gonna go. So let's draw those arms in. There. There. And I'm going to go down a little bit, about right here. And I'm gonna make circles that are gonna be his hands. There's one, there's two, and we're almost done. Here's the tough part, but this is fun. Hands are tough, just so you guys know. I actually had to take a class on drawing hands um, when I was in art school. So they're a little tough, but watch this, bear with me. Here's a finger, one, two, three, Four, this is his thumb, it's a little bit smaller. Okay. Try your best to duplicate this onto this side. But remember, thumbs on the inside. Here's my hands, my thumbs are gonna be touching my legs, my pinkies are out. So draw the thumb on the inside all the time. And we come onto this side now. Ready? One, two, three, four. Wait a minute, Spongebob has four fingers, is that right? Yeah, I messed up a little bit, let me fix this. Yeah, Spongebob has four fingers. So does Mickey and Goofy and all the rest of the gang. Easier to animate. Okay, so that's pretty good, I'm okay with that. The next thing I'm gonna do, and the last thing on this drawing, well, not last, maybe second to last. Now we get to do all the cool wavy features of Spongebob, watch this. I'm gonna start up here and follow this line that we made. Like that. Just right there. I'm gonna come onto this side. And I'm gonna go back over here. And then I'm gonna make his pores. One. Two, you can put them wherever you want, but this is where I put them. There's four, there's five, six, seven. You can add more if you want. Shade these in real quick. Now I get to darken his eyes up. Now, at this point, you could erase these lines that we created, or you can keep them there so that you could redraw this later and remember how we did this. I like to leave them there so that I can go back and check everything out. I might shade this in a little bit. And the last thing I'm gonna do, and you guys have to do this on your own because this is yours, is I'm going to sign my name. Mr. Chris.
Well, that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. And look for more of these. We're going to make some more for you guys. So don't forget the freckles. I forgot that. So hang in there, guys. Find things to do. Keep drawing. Um, that's it. Binge watch TV. You're good on that. Do your homework. If you have problems drawing any ideas, just email Mrs. Hernandez or myself and we'll give you some fun lessons to do, okay? Love you guys. Hang in there. We'll talk soon, okay?